Well, I'm actually moving to the beach. <laughs> I exercise to this song. <laughs> Today, we're going to have you read some lyrics from top songs all by one current artist and tell us the meaning and what you think. Okay. Then you'll get to listen to the songs you read and tell us your thoughts. Okay, excellent. These are always fun. Ever since I was 12, I've been into lyrics. I like old school a lot. The new music all depends on who brings it. I doubt if it's any kind of rap. I hope, hope not. <laughs> Otherwise, you just, we'll just stop right there. Okay. <laughs> yep, her president is black. She black too purple label on her back, but that tab is light blue. She take it straight to the head, then she look at me. She got ADHD. I got no idea who it is, uh, but he says this, he's got problems. It's a little discrimination, a little uh, making some fun of somebody who's got a, cha a health challenge. I don't, That does not sit well with me at all. Now, I then grew up around some people living their life in baubles. Granddaddy had the golden flash. Some people like the way it feels. Some people want to kill their sorrows. Some people want to fit in with the popular. That was my problem. Yeah, this is all about alcohol, growing up around alcoholism. Trying to drown their sorrows. That's probably why most people drink a lot. I mean, who doesn't know about the guy in the bar who is drinking uh, to suppress his sorrow? Sounds like he woke up to something. Sounds like he woke up to a little uh, revelation of some sort. He got involved with alcohol, uh, trying to get rid of his bad feelings, insecurities, and he did that as a result. He wanted to just fit in. Why are you babysitting only two or three shots? I'm gonna show you how to turn it up a notch. First you get a swimming pool full of liquor, then you dive in it. First, you're the victim where uh, you're doing what your peers are doing, and now it sounds like you're the big you're the big guy. A swimming pool full of liquor, that's a lot of liquor. It's taking it to the extreme other side of someone who's babysitting two or three shots. I think he's owning up to the fact that he himself had some problems as a result of what he saw. And the message could be, listen to me, you know, don't get into a situation, don't experience life like I did, it's not good for you. Once you know, we've been hurt, been down before, because N-word, when our pride was low, looking at the world like, where do we go? Just a sense of, I, I'm at the bottom, I'm at the bottom looking up. What do I do now? We've been here before, so we know what this situation is like, where we've been confused about which direction we should go in life. People judge and they take away people's hope, and every kid especially should have hope. You know, discrimination is, is, is very upsetting, and it makes you feel, you know, that you're not really worthy. And we're, and we hate, Want to kill us dead in the street for a show? And I'm at the preacher's door, my knee's getting weak, and my gun might blow. But we're gonna be all right. He's upset because, um, I guess the police are, you know, basically what's going on right now. You know, young black men are getting, you know, shot. He has to get on his knees and, and pray. And he's been on his knees for a while that they're getting weak. I think it's fabulous because the police need to start listening. No one can tell me what I'm feeling about something somebody does to me or, in you know, my case, the anti-Semitism going on at the colleges around the United States. And I'm the son of a survivor and no one can tell you, well, you shouldn't feel this, you shouldn't feel that. No, I don't like it. None of us are to judge what someone else is feeling about what's going on in their world, their community. I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances, finesse and, you know, and with some counterfeits but now I'm counting this. Parmesan, where my accountant lives, in fact, I'm down in this. Syrup sandwiches, it's kind of like uh, ketchup sandwiches or something like that. You're poor, so you just eat what you can. Well, he'd been down, and maybe now he's up. There's a lot you can pull from this, even though I don't like the, the N-word and the content of this rap or song or whatever. Maybe this is the writer's story. It's like a story from rags to riches. He used to eat syrup sandwiches, and now he got money. He got Parmesan. Girl, I can buy your oh, 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 there. Hello, girl, I can buy your ass the world with my pay stub. Ooh, oh Lord, there it is again. Oh, that good. Won't you sit on my taste? 
blood. And a lot of the, the songs have the women, you know, dancing and they're throwing the money around and they really feel that they can buy the women, which a lot of them can. Well, it's not one that I would use, you know, if you're trying to impress a uh, female, you just gotta, you know, I don't, I, that's not my style. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle though, ambition flow inside my DNA. Here's uh, probably a rapper that been successful with his music and uh, he's full of himself. What I'm guessing is good to bad, I have all the capabilities built inside me. It's in his bones, it's in his blood, you know, the power and poison and pain and joy, it's all inside. You know, you have pain, but you do have joy in your life. And, but I like the part with the power, because it sounds as if he's able to handle himself, he's got confidence. There could be somebody that is facing some difficulties in their life. Uh, they're discouraged, they're, they have no ambition, they have no drive, and then they hear this song, they could be uplifted. It's just positive. It shows character. This is good. I'm pleased. Any idea whose lyrics you've been reading? No clue. No idea at all. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no idea, but I like it. So these were lyrics to songs from Kendrick Lamar's repertoire. Oh, okay. I know him and I, I like him. Doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar is continuing the tradition of music being a form of protesting. Like Bob Dylan and Sam Cooke in the 60s, Kendrick has tapped into a deep-seated dissatisfaction with the status quo in American society. So what are your thoughts on activism and music? I think it's great, it's a great platform. Music has a lot to contribute as far as, you know, letting people know what's going on. Young folks, they listen to this, their eyes are, their ears are wide open to what this person's gonna say next. So they should say something positive. Let's play you the songs you read. Okay. <laughs> yep, her president is black, she's black. Yeah, I like that beat. Back, yeah, it's really good. It's like, do she take it? Well, I can actually understand the lyrics when he said them. She got ADHD. Yeah, I had a feeling it was this kind of a rhythm. God and grew around some people living their life in bottles. Granddaddy had the go to I know this song. Every day in Chicago, some people like the way it feels. Some people want to kill their sorrow. Some people want to fit in with the popular that was my problem. Why are you babysitting only two or three shots? I'm well, I'm actually moving to the beach. You get a swimming pool full of liquor, then you dive in it. Pretty cool. It's actually, yeah, you know, like you said, it's it's not a message that would get to me, but it's a message that needs to be out there. You can actually hear the lyrics, because a lot of those songs, you can't even understand what they're saying. I really like that about him. When you know we've been hurt, been down before. Yeah, I heard this before, too. We didn't really know who it was. Where do we go? And we hate poor poor. When they kill us dead in the street, for sure. I'm at the preacher's door. Yeah. He's getting weak and my gun might blow. Yeah. I... We gonna be all right, all right. It's got a great hook to it, the way it leads up. A little violence there, just a tad bit, but I really like the beat. I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances for Nessa Nico. I exercise to this song. <laughs> yeah, he sounds very happy. You know, sounds like he's got everything under control. Yeah, it's not my type, not my, not my kind of song. Sorry to, sorry to have to say that. You know, there is something, there is some poetry to these. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, though, ambition, flow inside my DNA. Yeah, I think my children would like it. You can understand what he's saying, which is rare for me as far as rap goes. He saw, seems like a very uh, fluent writer. And he's bringing out his feelings about issues that need to be talked about. It hits its targeted audience with a good message. You can't do better than that. I have, you know, some of Jay-Z and different artists, but I don't have him, and I know he's really good. So I'm gonna check him out. Thanks for watching us take on Kendrick Lamar on the React channel. Don't miss out, subscribe. If you like this episode, then go ahead and hit that like button. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Katie, React channel producer. Thank you so much for all your comments requesting Kendrick Lamar. I love doing this episode. So let me know down in the comments which artist you wanna see next time. Thanks guys, bye.